Oh man, I can't even see. That's how you should always cut your hair when you can't see. Hey guys, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Danny, and today we're going to cut and dye my hair. And yes, I'm holding up boxed dye. I don't care. I've been using this for four years, five years, four. I've been dyeing my hair this color red for a long time now, and I always use this color. So for everybody who's ever complimented my hair and been like, girl, where'd you get that done? This is where I got it done, in my bathroom. And I always cut my own hair too. I, I cannot go to a salon. I'm just not a salon person. I can't do it. It is what it is. So I don't go to a salon. I watch YouTube videos and I learn how to cut my own hair. This is how I do it. I had to change my shirt, obviously. This is the shirt that I always wear when I dye my hair. And because it's a black shirt and I dye my hair this crazy bright red, but the dye looks like murder. When I shower, um, and it's kind of fitting because it's red hair, ginger problems. Even though I'm not a real ginger, that's fine. This shirt is a band shirt from a friend of mine and the front of it could be slightly offensive. So I turned it around. Oh. <laughs> Look at those roots! The first thing I'm gonna do is fix, fix these bangs. I wanna do like a side sweep. Spray these down. Spray, not a stream. Let's get them a little damp. I'm pretty sure that some... I'm pretty sure that somebody once upon a time told me that you should... Oh God, this is such a good look. Dye your dirty, uncut hair and then cut it. And that's fine, but that just means multiple times that I gotta get in and out of the shower and do my thing and I'm just, I'm just trying to do that once. Please don't tell me I should have dyed it first. You're probably right. I probably know this. Yep, right about there. That's how much I'm taking off. I'm just going, I want it like right here. So that's where my finger sits. So that's where we clips. But this is, this is tricky because you're like, I clip my fingers a lot. True story. This is the second time I've ever cut me bangs. All right. So we got that straight across, but we don't really want it straight across. We are going to do a sweep. So I've been told, do this and all of that needs to come off. Um, like that. Oh my God, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut my fingers. Okay, that's not gonna work, whatever. All right, I'm on this side. Where's it at? There she is. Oh, I thought I went with all of that. That. Get gone. What? What is with this, this side? Uh, I can't see it. All right, whatever, we're just gonna... That looks like enough. All right. We're not done yet though. Now, this is kind of tricky. This is really tricky actually. We're just gonna take sections. Okay, all that falls down. We gotta take that off. Get gone. No blood. Do not cut yourself. Do not cut yourself. Woo! Doing your hair gets your adrenaline going. <laughs> if anybody knows how to fix a cowlick, like, that's my natural part. What even is that? Why does it part that way? And you know, I'm kind of wondering if I should like texture up these edges. Oh, this is where I'm gonna cut my fingers. So just take your time, dude. You are not in a rush. 
I'm not doing that close. I don't think that that turned out bad though. All right, now for the rest of my hair. This is where it gets really technical, okay? This is the down low on how to do your hair and it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. Put my hair back in full. Yep, the ponytails. I have one ponytail right up on top of my head and I'm just gonna take a few inches off. No, like an inch. And I have a ponytail in the back here. You can see how I have it parted. Now that I have it parted, it is much easier for me to take care of this side piece here. We're gonna trim that up. I got my dude's clippers. This is the bad part, because I can't really see back here. to have in the edge of that done. All right, that's, oh, it's getting too much for me. I gotta like brush this over or something. I can't see the line. Right there. Nope, right there. Nope, right there. Nope. Okay. This is very difficult. I can't see it in any mirrors. I wonder if I put my butt up on the counter and just maybe get closer. I don't know what to do. Oh man, I can't even see. That's how you should always cut your hair when you can't see. Which way is up? Okay. There. All right, we're just doing this. I'm done. I don't have the patience. Almost there. <sighs> Good enough. And let's see how many casualties. This many casualties. All right, we got the bangs done, we got the side shave done. I'm pulling it straight up, straight up, and just flattening it all out and then I want to take about an inch off now that I've cut some length off of it I'm just gonna go in and chop it the heck up I don't care if this is how you don't cut your hair this is how I cut my hair pull it out it is messed up back there Don't cut yourself. Let's go in from this angle. This is where I'm gonna cut myself. Okay, I gotta get that off of there. some wonky pieces back here. That's it, right there. Not a texture of the back. I'm just gonna take my horse tail here. I'm gonna cut into it just like I did the other pieces. I'm gonna blow dry my hair and then start to dye it. I don't think you can dye it when it's damp or wet. That's a rule, right? 
All right, hair is dry, obviously not styled. You might not think I look that different than what I used to, but I feel better. My dead ends are cut off. I'm actually trying to let my hair grow out. I can't stand having my hair this long. I rock a nice, short, crazy, lazy hairstyle, but I've got really thick hair, and even though I've been dyeing it for so long, it is pretty healthy. And so I'm gonna grow it out and I'm gonna donate it to Wigs for Kids. Apparently, you can donate dyed hair, just not bleached hair, so very cool. All right, in this box, for those of you who may have never dyed your hair at home before, and probably not, I don't, I don't know, this is all over the store, so somebody does, it comes with this bottle, this bottle, a conditioner, fruit oil concentrate. So first we put this into here, and then we put this into here, and it says, to take this off. Shake it up. I know it's bright orange once you mix it up. I'm just gonna start putting it on my head. Yes, the directions say to part your hair out and do all this other fancy business. I don't have the patience. It's really weird the stuff that I do have patience for and don't have patience for. I just wanna get it done. I don't have the patience to sit there and divide it all out when I know I can just slap this stuff on. It's gonna be okay. You squeeze it in there. I work my roots first, obviously. I need the most work anyway. Get it all in there. So I mean, I guess I do kind of divide it out. I do this. And then I move the little butt over when I go in and I do this. When I first went and got the little side shaved, it was like in the fall, right before winter. And the lady who was doing my hair was like, why are you getting rid of your hair? It's about to be cold out. And I was like, I don't know, I just want to do it. And she was like, oh, it takes all kinds. It always made me laugh. You'll notice for the back, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just squirting where it doesn't feel like there's anything there. Note, do not whip your hair around with dye in it. Do a share, because it's <laughs> everywhere. All right, I, I don't know, I think my roots are done. All right, stick it on top of your head, let it set for 25 minutes, shower, and I will be back with it styled and dried. All right guys, here she is. Not too bad. My uh, side shape's looking pretty good. Got the dye all the way around and through. Not too bad. That's how I do my hair. Pretty easy, everything right here in my bathroom with just a whole lot of we'll see what happens and some confidence and some YouTube tutorials because that I wouldn't have been able to do my bangs like this without it. That's it guys. So thank you for watching my video this week. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. You'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching, and until next week, keep on marching to your own drum. Peace.